Welcome to Around the Weird. Here's your host, the museum curator of the strange and unusual, Mr. Nothing. Thank you, Mysterious Voice, and welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all the unusual and out-of-the-ordinary literature that I have found in my travels. Today, it is Poetry Thursday, so I wanted to talk about some high-quality poetry that I have found as of late. And it is also uh, Black History Month, specifically at the time that I am talking, it is the end of Black History Month. Uh, so uh, I wanted to highlight at least one more uh, black author, at least in this month. I'll talk about way more in, in future months, um, or the right amount in future months, or just any amount, uh, no designator on how many I have to talk about. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, pretty exciting time. Uh, and today's poem is all about uh, feeling betrayed by a, a cruel and harsh world, at least that's what it seems like. I am referring to We May No Longer Consider the End uh, by Ruth Kosher. For those who don't know, Ruth Kosher is a uh, black American writer uh, who is currently still alive. Uh, she uh, has written a number of books of poetry and won a number of awards for her work. Uh, and um, she also teaches at a university in Colorado, which is interesting. Uh, and a lot of people have noted that her work focuses on her various identities, uh, whether it be a woman or a black woman or, um, you know, a mother or anything like that. Uh, and I've seen some of that in this poem as well as other po poems that I've read uh, in my uh, exploration of her recently. Uh, so pretty groovy poet. I uh, don't know too much else about her. Uh, but I'm happy to have found her. So without further ado, let's talk about We May No Longer Consider the End. I will read it, do a little bit of analysis, and we will move on from there. We May No Longer Consider the End. The time of birds d died sometime between when Robert Kennedy Jr. disappeared and the Berlin Wall came down. Hope was pro forma then. We'd begun to talk about shelf life. Parents thought they'd gotten somewhere. I can't tell you what to make of this now without also saying that when I was 19 and read in a poem that the pure products of America go crazy, I felt betrayed. My father told me not to whistle because I was a girl. He gave me my first knife and said to keep it in my right hand and to keep my right hand in my right pocket when I walked at night. He showed me the proper f kind of fist and the sweet spot on the jaw to leverage my shorter height and uppercut someone down. There were probably birds on the long walk home, but I don't remember them because pastoral is not meant for someone with a fist in each pocket waiting for a reason. In terms of analysis, that was we, we may no longer consider the end. Uh, there's quite a bit to talk about in this poem. In terms of narrative, there doesn't seem to be a straight narrative. Uh, merely, uh, it's a narrator talking about uh, the dying of hope, the, uh, the feeling that they've been somewhat betrayed by their time, by their country, by something, uh, that something isn't quite right. As they say near, near the middle of the poem, I was 19 and or when they, as they say in the middle of the poem, like what to make of this now without also saying that when I was 19 and read in a poem that the pure products of America go crazy, I felt betrayed. Uh, indicating that there was some level of hope, but it's like, oh, suddenly there's no hope. Suddenly it's a realization that maybe America isn't as all they thought it to be. And then uh, noting that their their father gave them a knife and told them to keep it hidden and uh, and taught them how to fight. Uh, and so essentially now there's someone who's, uh, a f they have a fist in each pocket waiting for a reason. Uh kind of a very sad uh, poem indicating uh, Ruth's Co Ruth Kosher's circumstances in life. Uh, there's a lot of allusions to the death of hope in this poem, specifically uh, at the beginning, the time of birds died sometime between Robert when Robert Kennedy Jr. disappeared and the Berlin Wall came down. And just noting like that birds are often symbolize hope, so hope has gone. And then... Um, uh, in the ne next uh, line, they say, hope was pro, pro forma then. We'd begun to talk about shelf life. Uh, pro hope being pro forma, was a, it's kind of assumed it, it, it's supposed to be there. But as uh, as things go on, that, that hope goes away. And as, um, as the... Um, as the narrator notes, like they talk about uh, the pure products of America go crazy, a line in a poem. 
that's specifically a reference to a William Carlos, uh, Carlos Williams poem, I believe is his name. Uh, and uh, it, it just, it's about the death of the American dream and how America is a kind of a forsaken place. Uh, and uh, maybe th this is like the narrator realizing, oh, this, is, this place isn't really worth being in. And then you see the circumstances that they find themselves in with having to hold a knife and having to be taught to be fought. Things do not seem going to seem to be going too well for the for the narrator, uh, kind of in an unsafe uh, place, um, in an unsafe society. Maybe uh, it's important to consider that Ruth is is black, um, so she might be uh, worried about the external forces of society coming to attack her. And she has to be taught to fight, otherwise, you know, those external forces, uh, a corrupt white supremacist society might come and get her. Uh, or it's, it's also important to remember that she's a woman and uh, we live in a um, male-dominated society, unfortunately. And so, you know, those two aspects of her identity are at play in this, in this poem, maybe more than the, just those two aspects of her identity, although I don't know too much else about Ruth. But uh, it's, it's important to consider those things as you read this poem, being someone who has been somewhat let down by the world around them. So that was We May No Longer Consider the End uh, by Ruth Kocher, a pretty solid poem, if, if a bit brief, but in, that, in its briefness, it still gets at the heart of what what Ruth or the narrator might be dealing with uh, and it's it's very unfortunate but you get a little bit of insight into the the life or the 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 un, a bit unsafe life or the the kind of betrayed life that the narrator was probably living so I do recommend that you go out and read it uh, I'll put a link to it in the description let me know your thoughts in the comments below we'd love to have a conversation about this otherwise don't forget to like share and subscribe so that more people can find out about this poem or this poet if they do not already know also join the discord if you want to have further conversations about this poem or just media in general. And until then, I wish you the best of luck in your weird and forsaken American travels. Farewell.